Good day and welcome to another Spooky2 demonstration video. Today I am demonstrating installing the Spooky2 generator drivers. There are a number of ways to do that and I'm going to demonstrate what I find to be the easiest one to get them all done. The steps to do this are pretty straightforward. You're going to disconnect all the Spooky2 generator USB cables from the computer. You're going to start Spooky2. You're going to answer yes to and agree and everything else to all the different prompts you get because there's a bunch of them. Follow all the prompts. After it's done, you're going to plug in your generator USB cables and start Spooky. At that point, it should find all your generators. Okay, so let's get started. Alright, the first thing, when I do Spooky, I always find it on the desktop. I right click and I do an open. That's because of the delay that Spooky has when it once you double click on it. Sometimes I can't tell, did I really double click or not? I find if I do it this way, it works the best. Open. This is a very fast computer, and it still takes three or four or five seconds to get to this point. It's going to search for your generator. It didn't find any. It's not going to because this is a test system. So I want to <coughs> exit and install drivers. I'm going to answer yes to this. Now I'm going to get a whole bunch of prompts. So like all these user account control ones, do you want to allow this app? Answer yes to all of those. The first thing it's going to do is going to install this driver. And so we're going to say install. <coughs> now these drivers, see, it's successfully installed it. However, when I press OK, it leaves this up. Notice it's still the CH341. You must manually close this, unfortunately. So, well, um, so again, once it's get the generate install, manually close this. Now, in this particular case, for this computer, we've got this UAC down here because it's flashing. So you want to click on that next if you have that. And yes, you're, we're going to allow all this stuff to happen. And we're going to allow this one to happen. And we're going to say yes to this. Now, this is the other one. This is the CH343. This is a different one. And yes, you do need to install this. We're going to click install here. And it's going to do a bunch of stuff. And we're going to get this message. Hey, it was successfully pre-installed in advance. Notice it did not close the window for this particular one. Again, this is for the CH343 and the 341 is the same. You must close these windows. Close that. The rest of these, we're now going to say yes. We're going to issue it. Extract. And we're going to say next for all this stuff. And we're going to accept all the agreements and say next. And we're going to say finish. And again, this is another one. This is a different one that has to install. We're going to accept this agreement. Say next. And finish. And when you get done, <coughs> that's everything. You shouldn't have anything flashing down here. It's all installed. All you have to do now is uh, start Spooky and everything will be fine. Which won't work on my system since I don't really have any generators on it. <coughs> Thank you for watching. If you have any questions about this, feel free to email me. I also have a Telegram group at Spooky Tech Help, which has a number of users in it, and we trade answers back and forth there. Thank you for watching. I hope this video helps you out.